I said, God damn! What's up, sexuals? Hey guys, welcome back to We Watch Movie. I'm Mike, he's Jay, and Latino Review. Latino Review is actually, a website I like that movie. reviews Latinos. No, they're, they're a website that comes out with a lot of rumors sometimes. Sometimes true, sometimes not, but they come out with some shit out of left field, and people are like, where the fuck? I don't know whose dick y'all been sucking. How did you get access I'm sure to that? How did you get access to that? Who's your daddy? Y'all been doing something nasty. Who's your daddy? You've been doing something nasty. Something going on. Where'd you, how'd you get that info? Something yeah. going on. We live in Kentucky, so we just... <laughs> we just gave reactions. We just read what you guys say. Yeah. And react to it. Movie news reactions. This is where I tell Jay about a movie news story, and he hasn't heard about it yet, and we react to it together in front of the camera so you guys can watch it. That's what we're doing. Look at that That's dance. why we're here. That's why I get naked and dance in the street like I ain't got nothing but a maraca to my name. Right my name's Mike. This story is exciting. This story is very exciting. It's Netflix. The rumor is, according to Latino Review, is that Netflix's next three series. Are you ready for this shit? Are you ready? Are you ready for this DMX. shit? DMX. Suck that. All right, what? Um, the the rumor DMX. is from Latino Review that the next three Netflix series are going to be Ghost Rider, Blade, and Moon Knight. I love it! I went cross-eyed because you I was so excited, excited. don't you? You know why? Because I think, I, I think everybody kind of thought that with the success of the Punisher, they, you know, they reinvented the Punisher. They brought him to the full front now, and they're like, "Hey, this guy's got a major Mail cock of awesome, and everybody should love it." And after that successful, and you know, and then they're saying, "Okay, he's gonna have his own series." I think Ghost Rider, Blade, and Moon Knight fits perfectly. And actually, I'm really happy to see Moon Knight because Moon Knight, to me, has always been Marvel's answer to uh, Batman. Even though Moon Knight is schizophrenic, well said. But Moon Knight is also like John Nash. He was like. If I ignore them, they're not there. <laughs> like he, he, because Moon Knight is a really cool character. Moon Knight is uh, is a uh, he's got the he's got not necessarily the same kind of power sets, but he's got he's got powers. He's a millionaire. The difference between him and Bruce Wayne is though that he's a fucking psycho. Like, dude, this little guy literally sees he's John Nash. He literally sees people that aren't there and like hears voices and becomes in multiple personalities. I get disorder. what you're saying, man. He, he he's like Batman, but you like him better because he's white and not black. No, because you're racist. You fucking liar! <laughs> I'm I love I'm the rainbow. Well, more than anything, well, here's what happened: is is, is that Marvel is owned by Disney. Yeah. So even with Civil War, as we talked about before, they didn't have the guns to pull the trigger on some dark shit. I can't believe you said that to me. That hurt my feelings. I'm sorry. You're not, you're not, I know you're not racist, honey. It's okay. All right, sweetie. Um, so. But Marvel is owned by Disney, so you got these issues like Civil War and stuff like that where they can't really pull the trigger on certain stuff. There's not as dark as you want it to be at certain points. But Netflix yeah. is like, Marvel's married to Disney, but Netflix is it's like... A mistress. Yeah, they're like, they're, Netflix is like Marvel's side chick. So they can go, they can go to that side chick, and they can do all sorts of nasty yeah, shit. Yeah, they, they can put it in any hole with that side that chick. They want to put it in with that side chick. You go to her house, and be like, I didn't even shower. I want to fuck. Yeah, I'm dress like, up like Orlando okay, Bloom. Let's done. And let's get in a boat. Let's, let's fuck or something. Let's be done, girl. That's not. I, I don't even. I don't know where that came. I don't from. know. I don't. I, you I, got I, I, really, I don't want to fuck with. But no. Uh, but you know what? Uh, they like those shows have been such a resurgence. And you know that's that actually I like this because you know like you said Marvel Disney have their. You know, huge cinematic um, escapades and everything, and it's all great. But it's it's clean, family fun kind of in its own way. But when they go to Daredevil, that's dark side. That's like the fucking deep, gritty yeah. side. That's like when you like looking for weed, and then you go to like the dark alley in New York, and you're like, I don't know why I'm in this alley, but they said the guy that's the grass man is gonna be here. And then you see him, and he's like all Rastafari, and he's like, they don't want the weed, and you're like, what the yeah. fuck are you talking about? I was getting darker with it, <laughs> but, but but yeah, but it's like it's like a dark alley kind of fucking side chick, like we were talking about. And I love because those are the where those characters will really shine. Daredevil, perfect for it. Jessica Jones, perfect. Luke Cage. The Defenders, all that stuff. Let me say this. What you want, what you want, the perfect situation is to have a huge movie deal like Marvel, but they're also not afraid to do that R-rated shit. You want a girl that's a yep. lady in the street, but a freak in the bed, and then you marry her, and then you don't need no side chick. That's true. That's the best way that's to go about it. But I'm really fucking excited, though, because like you said- Well, like, she was a lady in the street, though, and you fucked her in the shut bed up. like crazy. Wouldn't that be her, like a like no. a faker? No. She's a faker. What? You never trust her. Marvel. You never trust her. Yeah, but this is really exciting <laughs> because we always wanted that Marvel Knights type situation. I love where you've it, got yeah. the, you've got, and it actually included Spider Man too. When you had the Spider Man going down there with Daredevil, going down there with Punisher, Moon Knight, all that dark shit. Not that Spider Man's dark, but he would team up with them at times. So that, that, that darker, dark alley shit that Marvel can't like pronounce proudly, proudly like the reason some people don't share yeah. our YouTube on their Facebooks is like, Why not? these guys are dirty and I'm ashamed because my yeah, grandfather's on know, here and she's uh, going to see this shit. Exactly. That's what happens. I know, and I know some of you guys like us and I, we 
we appreciate you guys liking it, but it's like you're ashamed of us. It's like yeah. it's like that fucking moronic cousin that you don't want yeah. anybody to know about. You guys like, know it's true. You keep us in the closet. Some people are like, how come y'all don't have more subscribers? I'm like, because you're ashamed of us, motherfucker. <laughs> That's fucking That's why. why we're that weird uncle that like goes down the garage with you and drinks beer. No, I was like, we'll go down weird uncle. I was like, hey, I got a yellow belt karate. Watch this. I'm like, what the fuck is this <laughs> asshole doing? <laughs> but no, ser seriously, like Ghost Rider is perfect for Netflix. The Blade is perfect for Netflix, not the Blade. <laughs> the Blade. The Blade is perfect for Netflix. Fucking bring Wesley Snipes back. I love. He's still got some YouTube. You know what's funny is also if you're going to pay his taxes, if you're going to go finally. Thank God for that. The IRS got his ass good. But even imagine this, dude. You got what they this lineup that's happening, right? Blade, uh, Moon Knight, and. Yeah. Um, Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider. Parents fool. Ghost Rider. Imagine, hey, Ghost Rider. Parents fool. Imagine having adding Jeremy Renner with Hawkeye in mm -hmm. his own series. Dude. Ah, fuck yeah. Netflix will be the fucking place to be. In Spawn. Would, yeah, Spawn's not going to Netflix. Spawn will be an actual theatrical release. Because I think that's Or Spawn, on HBO like it used to be. Yeah, it could but be. Live action. But yeah, live yeah. action. I like that. Yeah. God, you sound like fucking very sexual. You're like, yeah. I can't, I can't wait to fat. Oh, no. no, but here's the thing about those three. Uh, and having Jeremy Renner with Hawkeye, I think those, like... That could be the place to be, like, as far as, like, if, if Marvel fans, which we are huge Marvel fans, but to go and see, like, that darker side of Marvel, the one that nobody talks about, but there exists a place between yeah. light and, and dark, that's where it I is. I want to see that shit. Yeah. Comment down below, let us know what you guys want to see. If you think that's a great fucking idea, and I don't understand you if you don't. I don't understand you. Don't. Comment down below, let us know which one of those you guys want to see the most, and if you think it's a great idea. We love your fucking faces. All our social shit's down below. You can get shit there. You can't get here and share that shit to your family. Let them know that you like boob and dick jokes. It's all right. Everybody loves boob. Shit, jokes. we need the help, man. We're poor as fuck.